Yo, what is going on, you gibberish spewing jealous and table clans and games with Dragon Ball, but it's a little bit different than the lists of Dragon Ball that I've been showing you guys recently. This is Malamar Dragapult. Um, and the main thing we're playing in this deck to get the most out of our Malamars is these super scoop ups. So we can super scoop up our Dragapult V Maxes after they've taken a hit and then attack with the Dragapult V Max again on the next turn through the power of the Psychic Recharge, um, setting up another Dragapult, uh, Dragapult V Max, and then attack with Max Phantom again. So yeah, that's the power of the super scoop ups uh, and the reason to play them um alongside malamar because you can very easily change the v maxes after scoop upping one up that has been hit um and then getting it back in there using the max phantom not a whole lot changes in this build besides that i have been trying out the nihilago in this build and i think i would maybe even include it in other dragapult builds as well because i've been getting quite a bit of value out of it um, just kind of in general in a lot of matchups since Pikarama can be good mirror match it can be good uh, Zation it can be good it can be good against a lot of decks so yeah big fan excuse me big fan of the Nihilago so far in this build I tried out the baby Blacephalon in this build it was just really hard to get to that three prize turn consistently and then even utilize the Blacephalon so did not like the baby Blacephalon but I've kept the Nihilago around I would definitely definitely want to try it out in other builds of Malamar um, not Malamar Dragapult <laughs> it's pretty good in Malamar as well, in general. Uh, yeah, definitely wanna try it out in different builds of Dragapult. But yeah, this is the build we're playing with today. Dragapult, Malamar, Super Scoop Ups. Trying to abuse Super Scoop Ups as much as possible to get that healing in without kind of losing tempo and whiffing VMAX or Max Phantom. Still wanna keep Max Phantom in every single turn, um, but just combining it with some some extra healing. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get into some, some games. All right, into our first game here. We did win the coin flip. We do wanna go first. Um, the Dragapult turn two Dragapult definitely a possibility especially with the addition of the Malamar in here um because then even if we with an energy on a Dragapult if we just get an Inca down it's still possible to pull off as long as we get a I guess a Dragapult V down as well it's still possible to pull off a turn two uh Dragapult all right we got the Jirachi here Brilliant Forest we're gonna head hard retreat into the Jirachi I think look for a treasure or a quick ball got the quick ball all right we'll quick ball away the Marnie get that uh dragapult v out and probably go ahead and pass we don't really have anything to viridian forest away yeah we don't have anything to viridian forest away to get an energy but like i said because of that malamar we can now evolve the nk to the malamar psychic recharge attach an energy v max and then just need a you know a scoop up net or a switch card and we can move our active out of the active whatever it might be if it's the jirachi the zigzagoon after the ko the jirachi we're definitely gonna send up zigzagoon that'd be the thing we send up um and we'll be able to uh get off a turn one attack or a turn two attack still despite whiffing that turn one attachment so yeah that's the power of the malamar if we just get the ink in play we have a chance still at a turn two uh max phantom which is all we're trying to really do with this deck consistently we're trying to get those turn one or turn two max phantom even if we whiff the energy turn one like we can with this build of the um this build of the drag pole. yeah so it's definitely one of the strengths of playing the malamar build just gotta get the ink in play and you're good to go our opponent here digging for that Turn one full blitz. They are quite a ways away from it. No energy even in the discard pile yet to even use with the Dance of the Ancients from the Coco Prism. So I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I don't think they're gonna be able to pull it off. Uh, turn one full blitz, of course. What uh, Pikaram is always striving to to pull off is a turn one full blitz, but it's not looking too good for them here. So I'm feeling like they probably whiffed here. They've dead a change. They played their draw supporter. All right, they got a lightning in the discard pile now. Yeah, they're getting there. There's an Absol. You don't see that guy very often, but there he is. Um, not too big of a deal. We hit a net or a switch. Gonna be just fine to get around this um, this Absol. And actually, them putting the Absol in play is something we can now look to actually take a take a knockout on. And we can look to go knockout Bolton, knockout Absol, knockout Pikaram now. Oh, they had the Thunder Mountain, so just short an E switch here. Um, they're going for the Bolt. They're getting aggressive here. Going for the Bolt Storm attack here. That's super aggressive. All right. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. All right. Reinforced, off to Malamar. I kind of want to bench the Mewtwo, but not use Minor Port. Um, or we could just get rid of it with the Viridian Forest. Let's just get rid of it. Let's go for that. Into the deck by one more card. All right, we got a lot of outs for switch cards here. Got some nets. Perfect, exactly what we're looking for. The Evolve on the Dragapult. Going to go ahead and use that Psychic Recharge to the Dragapult. And we do want to um, treasure something away um to get a drag another dragapult into play 
Um, probably gonna treasure away this Jirachi, I think. Yeah, treasure away the Jirachi. Grab another Dragapult here. Bench that. Going to probably hold on to the Zigzagoon. I don't see a reason to use it. And then go ahead and max Phantom. And I think I'm just gonna dump all five damage here on this Absol. Yeah, the Absol being in play is actually pretty good for us. And actually, one of, that's one of the reasons that uh, Pikaram with the um, Jirachis isn't quite as good anymore because a one prizer on the bench in this matchup is a huge liability. Uh, means I only have to knock out one one tag team, one two prizer, and there's always going to be a Dedenne almost always in play, or a Zerora, or a Bolton like a like they have here that they use Bolt Storm with last turn. So there's always something there. Um, so then we have to pick off that one prizer in combination with the tag team and a two prizer, and that's it. That's all our prize cards, and that's it. That's game. So super. Um, super big liability to play a one prizer uh, in Picaram right now because of this matchup. Here comes a Fion from our opponent with a Whirlpool Suction. I'm not too worried about the Dragapult V getting one shot, but it could. Um, they would need quite a bit, though. They've already used Coco Prism as well. I'm going to go ahead. Oof. A little risky. Could just send up the Malamar here. I'm just going to go with the Malamar send up here. They're not hitting a Dragapult VMAX this turn. I'm still feeling pretty comfortable. I'm going to give my opponent the Malamar here because it's not worth the risk of them getting a full blitz knockout on my Dragapult. They're going with the Electrify anyways. This will give us the scoop up net on my Malamar instead, which is just fine with me. Um, so yeah, we can go scoop up net the Malamar. I'm going to send up our Dragapult. I'm going to bench Jirachi. I'm gonna bench a NK back down. I'm gonna use this. Put 10 damage. Just put it here for right now. I might not even look to knock out that yet. Super scoop up tails. We're just gonna pick up the zigzag and use it. I'm gonna use the research here. Um, I didn't get a psychic energy beforehand and attach it, but I do want to attach this turn still. Um, but the reason I didn't do that was because I want to attach a horror energy if I found one, and I did. Um, got an escape board for our Jirachi gonna go ahead and Viridian Force now get rid of this psychic get a psychic um, yeah I wanted the option to attach an energy for sure this turn uh, but more so than that I wanted to make sure let's see what we have left in here uh, I want to make sure uh, we didn't run out of energy um I don't want to open up too many bench spaces for my so I don't think I'm gonna knock this out I do want to knock it out though so I can use the escape board on the Shirachi let's go ahead and knock it out I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put the escape board down as well there's usually not tool scrappers and Pika Roms um Max Phantom could just put some of the damage over here on the Pikaram instead. Mm, tough, decision, tough decision here. Gonna go with the knockout on the uh, Absol. And like I said, gonna focus the rest on the Pikaram here. Yeah, so I didn't Viridian Force. Explain a little bit further. I didn't Viridian Force before I used the research. Because give me a second, this card pile is decent because we have the Malamar. But I didn't know that I would for sure... Um, be able to find an energy to attach return because who knows when I'd be able to find this Malamar. So, and I ideally want to attach a horror energy, and I'm not feeling under pressure to have to really find any other cards. So, I, thinning out the energy out of the deck to attach before the I used the research wasn't really relevant. So, I decided to just kind of wait to see if I could get a horror energy to attach. If I didn't, then I would Verdian Forest attach a psychic. So, that's why I played it out that way um, and maybe looked a little strange. Um, now, here. Hey, they do play the Tool Scrapper. <laughs> Usually Pikaram. I can't even remember the last time I saw Pikaram with the Tool Scrapper. Um, yeah, I haven't seen one in a little bit while, so I felt like it was fair to not play around the Tool Scrapper. Uh, play more around Reset Stamp than anything. I, I feel like it's a little bit safer. They always have Reset Stamp. Tool Scrapper, not so much. Um, eight. There it is, though. Goodbye, Skateboard. All right, we're looking for a Super Scoop up this turn or just a Mew to protect our, our bench from the Tag Vault. One of those two is really all we need here. I'm going to go with an Attach. Going to uh, switch into the Jirachi. Um, we're going to force away the Giratina because I don't think I'm going to use that anymore. No energy left. Three Super Scoop Ups. All right, I'm going to use a Stellar Wish. I'm um, going to grab a Super Scoop Up. Attempt the uh, Super Scoop Up of my Dragapult. Got a heads. Pick that up. Full heal that guy. Dragapult back down. Uh, super Scoop or Scoop Up net the Jirachi. Send up a Dragapult VMAX, bench the Jirachi, and then go ahead and max Phantom once again. Um, I think I'm going to keep the hand. I'm going to keep the hand around here. I'm going to go ahead and pressure this Zerora with the damage. Um, yeah, keep the hand around for another turn. We got the VMAX again. We got an energy for it. No longer a big threat of Tag Bolt happening. Not going to do enough anymore. So I'm not worried about the Tag Bolt. 
comes a bolt end. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not even close to a one shot on our Dragapult. We just need to kind of pressure this Pika Ram out to close this one out. We still have two super scoop ups that we could hit heads on. Um, and actually, our opponent not retreating their Pika Ram. Uh, they could have attacked with their aura. That wasn't going to do a whole for them, a whole ton for them. Leave the Pikaram the active. I guess we're going to walk away with the win right here. Take this knockout on the Pikaram. All right, I guess that's fine with me. And we're going to get the, a dub here in this first game over uh, over a Pikaram. Why not? Oh, our Mew was prized. All right, getting to another one. One the coin flip again. Let's go first. So we got Inke start. Oof. I know I did kind of hype up the, uh, and it did work in our last game too. At the Malamar, a Dragapult would be nice here though, because horror energy are not basic energy, so we can't recover those. Our opponent did mulligan at least once, um, so we'll get an extra card to work with, at least one extra card to work with. Um, maybe a couple more. Ooh, two. All right. Still, no. Oh, we gotta sell it, which to work with maybe. Going first though. Still no energy. All right. Not energy. We got energy. Still no, dude. Oh man. Really important to get a um, dude this turn. Um, go with the scoop up nap, I think. Yeah, because this confirms because we can hard retreat the NK if we have to. Um, but I'm gonna go scoop up net to Jirachi, uh, bench it, and then attempt a super scoop up here. No, but we can hard retreat the NK and then we could get this basic energy back. But what we really need is a oh man, not a switch. A uh, quick ball or a treasure? Pass over to my opponent. Okay. Did not get exactly what we were looking for on our turn one. Missed the Dragapult V. Um, it's all right. Can still get it out on the next turn. The problem is that they could like Intrepid Sword into an energy and then boss's orders knock out our Dragapult before we even really get to use it. That's what I'm scared of here. Uh, with the Zation deck we're up against, probably a combo Zation. We'll see. No hits. All right, that's good. Good our top deck is. Go from there. It is super scoop up. I'm gonna sell a wish. Quick ball or research. I think it has to be that research there. Follow the Malamar. Zigzagoon here. Yes. I'll throw in there, I guess. Super scoop up again. Another tails and research. Here we go. Let's get ourselves a Pult. A couple pults. Not bad. Didn't get an energy. We could have gone with a jet assault, but I'll have to settle for I'll settle for this. I will settle for this. Not the worst thing ever. Mm, quick ball with the Garatina. See if there's anything worth grabbing. There might not be, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm kind of feeling that's just like not anything worth. Could grab this and maybe discard with the research next turn. Mind report would be able to get us a research. Um yeah, to be honest, there's really nothing worth grabbing here. It's like all... Oh, we'll grab the other Jirachi, I guess. That's the hardest thing to get. Everything else is Psychic besides the Dead A, and we're definitely going to support it before we'd ever Dead A change. Uh, so this is the hardest thing to, like, get out of our deck. Um, but we don't plan on Dead A changing. We could just research this away. Could just shovel it back in. Yeah, like, none of that stuff in there was that good uh, to get right now. None of it does anything against Zacian. Chilling like this, just fine, I think. Um, yeah, this is just fine. Another Intrepid Sword from our opponent. So a little bit of a slow start um, from our opponent here. Gonna really take full advantage of that. We had a slow start ourselves, but we've recovered uh, pretty nicely here, I think. I'm um, going to sell our wishes. Get that treasure. That's what you love to see. Treasure away this Jirachi now. Thinning out the deck efficiently here. And we're gonna grab that Dragon Ball VMAX. All that guy here. Unfortunately, don't have anything to psychic recharge. We do have the switch. We're gonna get into the VMAX and then go ahead and play a Cynthia. Draw a new hand of six. Oh no. No energy. Gonna have to settle for a shred. Um, yeah, I wish we had more. Let's shred. Shred it up. They will get to punch our Dragapult, unfortunately, very hard. Um, we, will have to, we can respond with a Max Phantom. We might still be in like an okay spot. This is where it gets a little bit rough, but this is where the scoop ups potentially come into play. We do have two left. Maybe we'll finally hit a heads. Who knows, right? We'll maybe finally hit a heads on one of these scoop ups and uh, can go from there. We'll see. Here comes that Brave Blade our dude for 230. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a quick ball away with Giratina, get that out of the deck. Quick ball away with Giratina, grab ourselves. Man, we could just put the Dragapult in play, actually. Kind of relying on hitting Scoop up here anyways, so yeah. Cynthia, I'm not gonna Marnie. They do have a pretty big camp, but they're not doing very much with it, so I'm not really too scared of it. 
Okay, um, gonna retreat to Jirachi and sell I wish. Pretty enforced. All right, cool. That's a a lot of nothing. Uh, yeah, whole bunch of nothing. Can attack with this other Dragapult though. Just need to decide what I'm gonna get rid of with this Viridian Force, and then we switch into it. Um, thinking the Dedenne, to be honest. No, let's go ahead and ditch the Research, because I probably want a Marnie here on the next turn. And then, whew, here we go. Finally, a Max Phantom. Punching this Zacian. Load up five here, I guess. That seems fine. And set up some plays where we're able to, uh, some cheeky knockouts. We'll see. Um, our opponent can definitely knock out this guy. This turn, unfortunately, um, we do 130 there. We're like three short, so we could go like double net, super scoop up, super scoop up, knock this thing out or something like that. Maybe they won't actually be able to even. There's a switch. Do they have a hard retreat? They'll have to go attach retreat. That's fine with me. I'm fine with that. Oh, switch back. All right, that's a little bit better. Definitely a little bit better. <laughs> if they just hit our active, that gives us another opportunity to kind of get a super scoop up. And do no, they got the boss's orders. All right. Orders are to take out my Dragapult V, apparently, which I don't like to see. Um, yeah, gonna get the knockout there. Is it combosation is still kind of the question. We haven't seen any combo pieces, so it's very possible it's not. I'm not feeling too awful about this situation, actually. We're gonna knock out their only relevant Dragapult in play. Um, unfortunately, this guy only has 30 HP left before we knock it out. We'd love to hit something else. We don't play Fion, though. Um, yeah, no, Fion would be very sick here, but um, no Fion. That's fine. Marnie. Okay, there's a super scoop up potentially. Potential for that there. Go ahead and throw down this energy. And I mean, they could play metal goggles. So I would want to ping this guy once with your Tina. Right there and there. So we could put five here, and then if they put a goggles or a frying pan there, then we'd be able to knock it out with the max phantom still. I am going to scoop up net the Giratina now, pretty enforce away the Giratina, grab a Psychic Energy, and then I'm actually going to Quick Ball away this Energy, and grab myself the Mewtwo, which I'm going to use to put a Marnie back on top of the deck. Um, that seems pretty good. Psychic Recharge as well, while we can over here. Use this guy, Marnie on top. Yeah, we'll put five here, in case they have Pan, in case they have Goggles. We want to make sure we can knock this out. This is the one, this is the one with the Energy, so... Um, yeah, we want to make sure we can knock this one out specifically as soon as possible. And get ourselves some prize cards. Treasure. And Jirachi. All right, why not? And then we can Marnie next turn if they get Trepid Sword or something because they don't have a whole ton set up here. Um, they still have all their saucers left, though, but they haven't really been through their deck too much. So there's a lot. Um, they haven't kind of, like, worked through almost through their deck. Um, there's a Shrine doesn't affect us at all it's weird that they attach their active here uh here comes an adventure bag that's what i was talking about by getting this damage here if they, this gets them I don't know, there we go goggles <laughs> if it gets them goggles very happy we set this one up to be knocked out the way we did fortunately uh, we still have to go through another zation they're hard retreating the zation to get into the strategy they don't have a supporter yet that's what they're looking for now goggles will protect this guy but we still will be able to one shot this actually so i don't i don't really care that the goggles are there too much can still one shot this thing um once we can get into the active there's a boss's orders but can't really trap anything off of our bench so it's definitely going to be an intrepid sword from our opponent here we go they bring up our malamar hey we got a scoop of net for that we're good to go on that no problem and then we're gonna put all the damage on this guy next um we will get this knockout on jirachi as well which will be pretty sweet um scoop of net they had nothing in their hand i don't think i'm gonna marnie yet i'm gonna hold off on this marnie we also have this um Super scoop in the hand that we want to utilize. I'm gonna get rid of this Jirachi. I don't think I need this Jirachi anymore. I'm gonna grab the I don't know, Malamar, Mew, Nihilago. They're all pretty useless. Let's grab the Mew. I think if I was gonna attack with anything, it would be the Mew. I don't think I'm gonna put this Malamar back down. Um or it's Inke. Keep the bench space open in case of like Daddy Change or something. Get this knockout. Throw five here on this one that has one. Um yeah, throw five there. And we got three prize cards left. Could take it a couple different ways. Also, Giratina is another reason to not fill up this bench space yet. We could bring Giratina back. Uh, snipe off another Jirachi and then just KO this to close out the game. Hold this Marnie for a turn. Like, we're just going to max Phantom no matter what. Our opponent just Trepid Sword it up to four after having a pretty bad hand. Like, find another Trepid Sword to see how many energy. Now they've got a seven card hand. 
Marnie seems a little bit better. That's where Marnie becomes just a tad better. Um, get rid of this Malamar. Going to grab this Malamar, put down the bottom deck. Our boss's orders is in the deck, and that's basically what we're looking for at this point. Going to Marnie. Going to disrupt this bigger hand now. Got the boss. Um, got a horror energy. We're going to go ahead and throw in the active. Put my Viridian Force in play. <clears throat> Keep Nihilago around still, I think. And then just go ahead. Once again, Max Phantom. Can't put any five here because of the goggles, so we're going to throw it all here. Uh, but we got the game with boss next turn. Bring up this guy that we set up to be able to KO through goggles or frying pan. So here it's coming around. Got the frying pan. We still do 100 damage. Got 220 HP. Did the math. It checks out. This guy, 30 HP left. Unless I get a goggles on this guy, then it's going to have to slow down a little bit for us. But we could, like, boss's order up this guy and just punch that if that's the one they look to set up, which it probably will be the one they look to set up. Uh, still have a scoop up. We can, like, just scoop up our Dragapult if we want to. If they hit it, we still have to two-shot it. They could somehow miraculously win this game by getting double saucer, attach, pull off the combo, and gust this guy up. They get a miracle. They could win this turn, but they would actually need like like a miracle. Um, there's a reset stamp. All right. Got the quick ball for the Dede change if we want to go with that. But putting the Dede in play, um, I'm not the most keen on because it is a GX Pokemon. Unless there are great catchers in here, which it's not. Yeah, I'm not super keen on putting a GX Pokemon in play. So we're not going to do that. He's not going to hit the field. There's an Orangaroo. We can get him up. Same thing. Make the knockout. Because it's the same thing here or here. But they put goggles here. No, it'll still be the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, not super keen on putting the Dene in play. Because they probably play Great Catcher. Um, they make it that much easier for them to try and close out the game this turn. I am kind of scared of them knocking this guy out still. Um, this turn. Getting the knockout on this guy. Um, so I'm worried about that happening. That would not be great. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do not want this guy to get knocked out. I don't think it'll happen this turn, obviously. They just use research, but it could happen next turn. Only one boss's orders left, but they could play the Mewtwo, which gives them a little bit more access to the boss's orders. Um, so I'm, I'm worried about this guy getting We might try, if we can get a super scoop up, we'll probably try and scoop up the Dragapult on uh, on this turn. If we get it, if we find a super scoop up, we will use it, get this guy out of play. Just don't leave any two prize Pokemon in play that they could then combo off of and uh, draw three prize cards with on their next turn. There's the Intrepid Sword. A little bit surprised I didn't use this guy to do it, but um, we'll see here. Top deck Mew. Quick ball away, Inke. Gonna thin out the Nihilago as well. Brilliant Forest. Grab this. What do we have left? We have two super scoop ups. Yeah, we want to find those super, super, super scoop ups pretty badly, actually. Um, grab this. I'm gonna throw this here, I think. Go ahead, play research. Go for that super scoop up. Tails, go for another one. Tails, you hate to see it. I guess I could have dead a change. Knowing I had a switch in my deck, I think I actually could have dead a change and guaranteed the boss's orders because I could have retreated and then switched out of it. So I kind of just threw the game there a little bit, not gonna lie. Max Phantom here. Knock out this guy. Gonna throw five on. Feeny, I think. No. Here. Um. Yeah. Yeah, five there. Yeah, we definitely. I definitely threw. I think I just had game locked up. Actually, I didn't realize how few cards I had left in my deck. But I had a quick ball. I could have grabbed a Dene. Quick ball for the Dene. I think I had a quick ball. It wasn't a treasure. I don't think. I could have been mistaken there. I think it was a quick ball. Quick ball. Dene change. I had the switch left in deck. I guess I wasn't guaranteed to draw the switch. So I could have put the Dene in play and not guaranteed saw the switch. Um. So I guess that meds maybe made it not worth it, actually. Thinking back on it, I guess this was probably a fine line of play to take. Um, there's another shrine. We're afraid of combo plus boss's orders. They still need quite a bit to pull that off, especially with like two boss gone. How many quick ball? Only one quick ball down, though. So them finding the combo pieces wouldn't be ridiculous. Um, yep. Let's see, uh, see what they got here. Wouldn't be ridiculous if they pulled it off this turn. We were hoping that super scoop up worked for our Dragapult. Did not work out that way. Comes the dead a change. They're definitely reaching for it. But now they've kind of filled up their bench quite a bit. I don't even know if they play combo, to be honest. It looks like they do with the double Orangaroo, though. Um, so I would... If I had to bet, I guess, still at this point, I guess I would still guess that they played. If I had to guess. A double Orangaroo usually means combo. But it's weird that they would bench a second Orangaroo. Because that eats up into their bench space. So now all of a sudden, they not only have to find both Pokemon. They have to find a scoop up net to get one of these Orangaroos out of play. Um, they're not playing like they have it. They would have needed to hit quite a bit here. Double Saucer is usually pretty good, but in this instance, not so great. 
Um, so I think we have this one just about locked up here. I don't think our opponent is going to be able to uh, make it happen. Yep, there's the Brave Blade. They will take 20 from the Horror Energy on to the Zacian. And then we'll be able to hit him with that Max Phantom for 100 damage, which is just enough to get this knockout. Max Phantom. 100 damage. There we go. That's going to do it for these games with the Dragapult Malamar build. Hope you guys enjoyed them. I think this deck or this build sometimes has its merits over the other build. You know, to play stuff like the Baby Blue Cephalon is sometimes really good in certain matchups. There's a lot of one prize decks going around, like Spirit Tomb. It's nice. I don't play that in the current build, but it's a potential inclusion. Um, but just being able to heal, man. Mirror Match, Scoop Up Heads is really good against Picaram. A scoop of heads is a big game changer as well. Against combosation, a scoop of heads is a huge game changer. It can do a lot. Um, so definitely a uh, reasonable inclusion in the deck, in my opinion, right now, is the, the scoop ups. It depends on the meta. Um, depending on the meta, it's the right way to go, I think, the scoop ups is. And if you're going to play the scoop ups, you probably want to play the Malamar, because otherwise you can very often get into situations where you can play the scoop up to heal your Dragapult, but you won't be able to max Phantom again on the next turn because you don't have that psychic recharge to get the, enough energy back and play on this specific turn to be able to attack again. But yeah, that's going to do it for these games. Hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.